carrying supplies. Very heavy. Gosh darn. But at least we get to see this beautiful view. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> We're in Idaho. Officially. We've made it kind of near Lewiston. And we were supposed to go on Highway 12 when we accidentally got on 95. So we're using this area right here, like this, to do a turnaround like that and then get back on the highway that way so we can take 12 and there's a waste disposal dump right here all right the clock is ticking the clock is ticking we're back to looking Ready the way to what are you looking for there meg just curiously looking just to see what was that way oh <laughs> that's a kitty that purrs when we play with her because she's a sweet pea Oh, you just such a nice kitty dad. You are nice. Just, you've not slept in bunk beds for a long time. Yeah. And Aaron wants the top and I need the bottom because Sweet Pea likes a, a, a nighttime cuddle. That's right. And she cuddles with mommy at night. Look at this. And, and, and it's a meow meow bag because Meg loves kitties. I mean, I'm not really into that type of cartoon, but I thought it would be a good cat bag for meow, Sweet Pea. Meow, meow. Because Sweet Pea needed her own bag. Oh, I see Kitty. Kitty likes when I come over here and say hello. What is that little animal? They are Colombian ground squirrels. They make a high-pitched peep to alert their family members of danger. They hibernate for seven months or more. The Lolo Pass ground squirrels go into hibernation in August. They are omnivorous and enjoy eating grasses, bulbs, and insects that live at the pass. They are great at finding their own food, so please do not feed them. Thank you for not feeding the ground squirrels. Feeding the squirrels habituates them to people and encourages them to remain outside of their burrows where they're exposed to predators like dogs and foxes. We are at Lolo Pass, and this is the Lolo Pass Visitor Center. We're in Montana. It's standing on its hind legs. Look behind you. Like a meerkat. That's because, that's because they're looking for... That's so cute. One's a lookout. Hi, baby, baby. Hi, baby, baby. We've hit Montana. Meg is preventing blood clotting by moving around during our break at the Continental Divide stop here in Montana. There, there she is, dancing Meg. I'm at a 580 a gallon where I come from near Seattle. That's crazy. Here, the construction workers are using a improvised stoplight. Never seen this before. Oh, look at that. It's time to go here. As you can see off in the distance there, that's Devil's Tower is the lovely Meg. She's casting this long shadow here, see? Look at that long shadow. Meg, I feel like there's there's something that's come between us here. There's the Meg thing. That's the best part landscape feature in this environment here. People have been building rock pagodas out of this degenerated a grasshopper. And he blends in with the rock really well. See? Oh, he didn't. Interesting. His cute little face. Maybe he's photogenic. He's beautiful. He's really pretty. I mean, just seeing green Maybe he's and brown grass, like tan. Surpri surprised you didn't eat him. Oh, so you smell like a dick.
They heard me. Did you hear it? <laughs> you don't do this, man. You gotta, you gotta let your lips. Look like that. Uh, that one was just right chased the other one away. That's Meg wearing sweetware in Sturgis, South Carolina, or South Dakota. Moving around, I can feel it. Can you check and tell me if she's okay? Yeah, she's okay. Wisconsin today. We're spitting distance from the border. No, wait. Where are we going? Wisconsin. It is Wisconsin. Milwaukee. We have to go through the south end of uh, Minnesota first. Minnesota. One of the most beautiful rest stops we've ever been to. Praise be to God. We're in Minnesota at the Isla Turn DNA. Lovely named Meg. cultural smell here. Does it smell like someone farted out here or what? It's an agricultural smell, Aaron. It's an agricultural smell? Meg took a Benadryl, so she's a little sleepy face. You're sleepy face. Those first generation H1 Your first histamine generation H1 histamine blockers. Blocker. <laughs> Boy. Right over there. Look at that. Wisconsin welcomes you. Meg thinks so too, don't you, Meg? Yes, I do. Lovely, Meg. Oh, you through here. Oh, Meg point out those lily pads that are growing on this slow moving water near the shore here. How does it smell? Look at that. Say hello. Hi. Hi. Oh. Say hello. Hi. Can you wave? Can you wave? Can you wave? He's filming you. He's taking a movie of you. Say hello. Hello. Hey, Reed. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> Amanda, say hi. Hi. Jim, say hi. 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 Hey, Alex. Alex. Alex, say hello. Say hi. Hi. Okay. Yeah, but different. Meg, say hi. Hello. Hello. Next to these flowers. 
flower beds here are pretty and really likes this cork screw ride and wants to try it. It's passed out. There it goes. Say hi. Hello. Hi Meg. Hi Erin. Video, not a picture. No, say hi. Hey, we had fun. My hair used to be straight and now it's uh, knotted. Right? <laughs> Cedar Park. Good times. Yeah. Seven roller coasters. All day. So I thought it was eight counting the overhead. Well, eight if we count the overhead crane. It's my favorite number. Or cam, or tram, whatever that is. Oh. I like seven too though. Yeah, seven. I like seven eight. Yeah, you do. Meg does. I do. Woohoo! Okay, I got you. Set. Look at this beautiful sunset here. Oh, look at look at the while attending or participating or whatever. I haven't. Okay, shut this in. <laughs> Meg shakes his hand. We are at. The we stand behind it. To keep homeless people from stealing them like they do where we come from. Yes. Meg really likes this one right here. The depth, look at the thickness of the oil on this here. Compared to the depth of the, I don't want to touch it though. Look at that technique. So much texture. I mean, it's like very three dimensional, you can see here. This is of the moon landing. You can see. <laughs> hey! <laughs> nice! This church up here. That's where we found basketball court we were just playing at. 6 30 p.m. to 8 30 p.m. They do a recovery celebration. Spotted that. What do you think, Meg? I like the cat. Right? Well, Dolly's Meow. Dolly's awesome. Too. She's cool I like too. Her as a human being. She's right? A person. Yeah.
Meg is engaged in smartphone photography of this giant mural over here. This is fast acting insulin. See? Called Humalog. So that I can drink this. It's worth it. I already captured you. Okay, I gotcha. Oh, look at this. I don't know what kind of fruit that is. It looks like a fruit though. Okay, we compared to my finger. Yeah, he's enormous. Oh, he climbed on my finger. <laughs> Tell him what you think loud. I love the rebar archway. Condominium complex was installed. And if you look, go ahead. It's really cool to see the ivy hanging off the building. A, ma a man may die, nations may rise and fall, but an idea lives on. Ideas have endurance without death, quote John F. Kennedy. This one here says, okay. new ideas pass through three periods. First, it can't be done. Second, it probably can be done, but it's worth but it's not worth doing. And three, I knew it was a good idea all along. Arthur C. Clarke. Ideas won't keep something, must be done about them. Alfred North Whitehead. You have to read it with the peer. Every really new idea looks crazy at first. Alfred North Whitehead. Because the great, wait, I'm sorry. The great accomplishments of man have resulted from the transmission of ideas and enthusiasm. Thomas Watson. Founder of IBM. A people without knowledge of their past history, origin, and culture is like a tree without roots. Marcus Garvey. There is one thing stronger than all the armies in the world. And that is the idea. See, I can't do that. We're doing it. There is one thing stronger than all the armies of the world, and that is an idea whose time has come. Victor Hugo. You see right there, right above my finger? That's a skydiver's worst enemy. Thank you, Tim. We're live on location at Music City Hall in Nashville, Tennessee. Over to you, Meg. Well, we've got a lot of people walking the streets, going on bicycles, everyone trying to stay cool on this hot, humid summer day. But the joy is high. A lot of people, positive outlooks on life, really embracing the day. I know your name, but you're a good boy. This is a friend who followed me here from, from the Hope Farm. See, he followed me down the road. We're here in Georgia. He's a nice dog. My name's Aaron. You're a good dog, too. Hi there. Yeah. You're so wonderful. I gotta take a video. Oh, look at that. Jiminy Cricket. Cricket by the creek. There he is, or she. I have a question about why. Why? MCA. 
Stranger danger. You'd think they'd be used to people. They don't have anything. They don't have anything. I don't have anything either. Meg's eyes are adjusting. Yeah. The short film festival, it is super cool. Yeah, an uphill waterfall. Look at this. this. Oh, it's a video. And the sky loaded. And the sky unlocked with the fury. They're naturally buoyant. Well, 
like specifically it's like their lower body stays underwater for their body. Mm -hmm. Come on now. That's a little kid, I understand, you know? Kids will be kids. And if an alligator moved on me and I was a kid, I'd be like, oh my god, that's not everything else. Look that way and smile. <laughs> pretty rare. In fact, biology folks can't call it threatened. Oh, threat. threatened. And the state and federal government protect it. So this is a fern, but look at the size of the leaves here. This is known as a leather fern. It's a very it's rare incredible. species compared to Meg there. Look at the size of these fern pieces. It's one of the largest style of ferns or strain of fern. Oh. Look at the size of the fern plant. It's Almost as big as we are. The Citrus Center, we can see palm trees. We stopped in Mississippi, the Mississippi River, down here. And here Meg looks out over the water, see? See, the water didn't move very much to me down here. Meg spotted this highly unusual, very orange. Mushroom. It almost looks like a heart. That's almost shaped like a heart. This guy here. Oh. Be careful, he might bite you. I know. <laughs> I just want to look at you. Can you just come here? Come here. Come here. Come on. Careful, buddy. Look how big he is. Right? He's missing part of his leg. I bet a bird got him. Well, or his leg, rather. I never, I've never seen one before. Don't worry, we won't, we won't hurt you. A shrimp? Down here. There's a mush there's another mushroom of that same style. I envision the locusts that devoured Pharaoh's crops to be giant like that. Oop! Uh -uh. Oh shit! What? There's what? shit biting my feet. Get out of here. Quickly. Quickly. Ow. Meg's playing with her head. <laughs> <laughs> There's a beetle rolling a dung ball. There she goes. Enjoying the beautiful space between these commercial buildings. There's a cactus in here that's leaning against the building.
Hey, you walk towards me. <laughs> Actually, that's a good idea to get you more. I don't want to like right because that gives me a It's Smig. Oh, so I'm sorry, I didn't know it would do that. sometimes and so I gave this kitty a pouch that had like a lot of water like watered down it they call it a moose hi Murphy Murphy you're a good boy the lion dog Murphy <laughs> oh it's okay buddy yeah Say I'm really hot. I'm in direct sun. Ooh, getting hot over there. Yeah, they'll be back in just a minute. You'll be okay. You're such a nice old dog. There they are. There's Gretchen and Meg. Say hello. And that's me. See, Murphy hears them. Are they back there, Murphy? Oh. There's your mom. See? Oh. Hey, see? See? Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, you're, I don't want to say that on camera. Say hello. Hi. Hello. hello. Now we're going to go to Costco. Ooh, Costco. Costco. We got you. We bought corn at a corn farm. 18 oh. pieces of corn at a corn farm. Can you we believe that? Oh, Look at the corn bought, out there. And we bought them from these awesome kids. They're, te they're young teenagers. So Coolest boys ever. Just the sweetest kids. Megan gave them a nice little tip. It was precious. 
wonderful. <laughs> See, there's the corn farm. Thanks for the corn. See, they're selling corn here. We're learning to wash the corn in the sink. What are you doing? Can you tell Uncle? What are you doing? Are you washing the corn in the sink? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie you Gretchen is teaching. Different. Yes, it's all about the creativity and the freedom to do stuff. Oh, wait. Yes. Team G and T. Team G and T. Yes. You are so good. Adult fun. Don't worry, Richard. Meg, what city are we in? Baker City. And there's sweet pea. Actually, it's Baker City, Oregon, to be precise. Established in 1864. Come on, or if you want to be specific. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy. Kiki. Burp, 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 burp. 